Hey guys, Sarah Lou here and today we're going to talk about beginner makeup. It's something that you guys have asked for over and over again. So today we're going to take it nice and easy, a couple steps, nothing too crazy so that you guys can get started. So step one when doing your makeup is to moisturize your face properly. The last thing you want to do is put on makeup onto just like a freshly washed kind of dry face. Make sure you have clean hands too. You don't want to touch your hands with germs on your fingers because that can clog your pores, put bacteria into them, and that's how you get breakouts. For my moisturizer, I love Air Repairs Complexion Boosting Moisturizer. I've been using it for years and years and years. It is super gentle. I use like a pea size amount and just rub it in. I try to do upwards motions. To me, this is a good moisturizer for any kind of skin. So if you have oily skin, dry skin, normal combination, this is kind of like a universal moisturizer. So this is a good buy. All right, the second step to a basic face and beginner makeup is priming your skin. I know it kind of seems like it's just another step, like I'm adding it to the mix, but priming your skin will make your makeup last longer. It will put um, a good texture, kind of creates a base for it, a smoother base. It will go on better, last longer, and just be all around great. There's different primers for different skin tones. There's hydrating primers, luminizing primers. There are green primers if you have like red undertones in your skin. Um, and then there's mattifying primers if you have oily skin and they're good for if you have texture, maybe you have acne scars. I'm gonna come in with Pore Professional by Benefit Cosmetics. This is the pearl one. So this one is mattifying as well as illuminizing. So it has kind of like a pearly undertone to it. And we're just gonna put this all over. I'm gonna apply it with my hands. You can apply with a makeup brush, but if you're watching this and you're a beginner, Fingers is the way to go. So I'm just gonna apply this in. This is nice for anywhere you have fine lines and wrinkles too. It will stop your foundation and concealer from getting creased in there. All right, next up is foundation. I love Makeup Forever foundations. They, to me, are just the brand for foundations. This is their Ultra HD Stick Foundation. They also make this in a liquid if you'd prefer liquid. To me, the stick foundation though is just really easy to apply. So I apply it to all the areas that I want to kind of have coverage on the most and then I'll blend it out. And now we're gonna come in with a brush. I'm gonna use IT Cosmetics brush. This is just kind of a really nice brush to blend out. So as I was saying, this brush is just really nice. This is the IT Cosmetics um, airbrush. This is the foundation airbrush. And it's just nice and soft and it's easy to blend everything out pretty quickly. Um, that's another thing that I like about cream foundation sticks. I feel like they blend out really quickly. So if you don't have a lot of time in the morning, they're a perfect option for you. All right guys, you're doing great. Next step is to add bronzer in there. I'm gonna come in with Hula by Benefit and an Eco Tools. This is just a blush brush. It's nice and fluffy and rounded so that I don't have any kind of harsh lines. I'm just gonna buff this bronzer into my forehead and kind of into my cheekbones on my eyelid, all of the things where the sun would touch naturally. Also, you may want to add some just underneath your jawline to kind of give underneath that jawline a shadow. Really, we're just warming up the face all over so that we take away that kind of flat look that we did when we covered everything with foundation. Once you have your face bronzed and kind of as warm as you want it to be, you're gonna come in with a blush. My personal favorite for beginners on blush is a blush that has kind of a pearlescent shimmer to it. That way you can knock out your blush and your highlight all in one. I'm gonna use this Pure Cosmetics. This is the Bronzed and Beautiful Glow Kit. You can see it kind of has this nice gradient from highlighter to blush to bronzer. Um, I use all three as a blush. I'm gonna come in with an angled blush brush. 
The important thing about a blush brush is that it's not too big that you're actually covering too much of your face. You want it to kind of sit perfectly in the shape of where the apples of your cheeks are. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to take in some of this like pink shade. And I'm just going to ever so softly add that blush to the apples of my cheeks. And see how because it has that kind of highlight shimmer to it, it gives me a brow bone highlight as well. On to the other side. And something that I love doing is adding a little bit of blush to my eyelids. My eyelids are so big that I really have a lot of real estate. And I feel like putting a little bit of the blush that I have on my cheeks kind of ties the whole look together. It makes it look a little bit more natural. So now that you are done kind of warming up your face, covering your face, you may have some areas, um, specifically the under eye area, that's really the main area for me where I want to kind of color correct. So I'm going to come in with some concealer. We're going to use this really, really sparingly. You can also use concealer as the first step or the second step. So you can use concealer directly after your foundation or even before your foundation. When I'm using it super sparingly, I like to use it after my blush and after my bronzer so that I don't get too crazy with it. It kind of keeps me in control. So I'm gonna just loosen this cap. I'm not even going to come in and actually dot it anywhere. I'm gonna loosen the cap. I'm gonna take a flat foundation brush and all I'm gonna do is grab a little bit from the top of the cap just to make sure I don't get too crazy and too excited. And I'm just gonna come in and kind of do some really light wisps in my under eye area with the flat brush, just to make sure that I don't get too out of control. Cause we all know I can get a little out of control sometimes. All right, guys, we're going to move on to brows. For this, we're going to use just this one pencil. This is precisely my brow pencil from Benefit Cosmetics. This is the shade number four. If you're not sure of your shade, head into you know your local Sephora or a Benefit brow bar if you have one and have them color match you. You can test out the products right then and there and just make sure that you have the correct shade. I'm going to come in brush them out with the spoolie on one end. I'm gonna flip it over where the pencil is and we're gonna get down and dirty. Start filling in any of those sparse areas. I just had my brows done, so this is kind of easy. Normally there's a lot more work to be done because I have so much more bulk that it just takes a lot more time to figure out where we need everything to go. In this clay case, it's mapped out pretty easy for me. So if you haven't gotten your brows done, I highly recommend, you know, trying out your local benefit brow bar. I am, they're the only people who have ever touched, um, who have ever like tweezed or waxed my brows or shaped them in any way. And I'm a stickler about who I like touch my brows. So I recommend them very highly. Just filling in the inner corners now. Super light handed, as light handed as you can be. Just small little hair like strokes. All right guys, I like to set my brows with 24 hour brow setter. This is also from Benefit. It's a really easy, comes in like almost a little mascara bottle with a little wand, similar to a mascara wand, except it's flat on some ends, just in case you need to use that flat part to kind of level out your brows. So I'm just gonna brush that through, and as it dries, it will stiffen and hold our crazy brows, which mine are super crazy. You guys may not have crazy bars, brows, but I certainly do, in place. Okay, so we're gonna continue on with our eye design. Now that we have our brows kind of mapped out, I'm gonna come in with this little fluffy brush here. So you want something that's kind of teardrop shape, well, upside down teardrop, I should say. And it is fluffy so that it doesn't leave any harsh lines. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna use this with our hula bronzer again. And we're gonna use that to just kind of buff it lightly into our 
crease line of where our eyelid meets our brow bone. Because this is the same shade as our bronzer, it's much more natural looking. It's not like you're trying to jump into a wild like glitter or metallic shade. It kind of looks like it's a natural. It's just adding some depth to our lids. Okay, babes, two more steps to go. We have Roller Lash Mascara. You can use whatever mascara you have at home that you like. I've been using Roller Lash for years and am in love with it. I've even tried to replace it and just nothing kind of holds up to the legend that is Roller Lash in my eyes. So we're gonna come in with here and you're just gonna brush it through your top lashes. I like to kind of get to the base of it and do a little shimmy. A little shimmy from the base of the lash through to the ends so that you know like each one of those lashes are really getting coated. Awesome. Now's the time when I always would finish one eye once and then move on to the next. So if you want to do bottom mascara, now is the time. I don't like to have like a ton of mascara on my brush when I do the bottom. So I do it immediately after I do the top without re-dipping my mascara wand. Perfect. On to the next eye. And for our final step, babes, we are going to add on some color to those lips or some nude color, I should say, to those lips. I've been in love with this Tracique. This is the matte color and shiny balm lip crayon. So you have a nice shiny balm on the end. And then on the other side, you have a lip crayon. So this is the shade Nantucket Nude. It's super pretty. We're going to draw it on with that lip crayon. Again, this is a nude shade. It's a very um, warm nude though. I feel like some nudes get too gray, get a little too gray looking. Um, so now that I have this crayon on, I'm gonna flip it on over to the bomb side. And just doing a quick little gloss. Done. Alright loves, I hope that you had fun enjoying this quick little makeup for beginners tutorial. If you have any questions about the products I use, about the technique, please put them in the comments below and I will be sure to answer them. If you enjoyed this, make sure to hit that subscribe button, make sure to hit that like button, and I will see you all very soon.